Okay, so now we're going to track it. So as we go distally, I'm approaching the distal capitellum. Do you see how it's starting to turn into what has been coined the snake eye view? So it's now it's still it's still one perineurium, okay, but it's 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 beginning to now move into a split position. So now we're at the distal capitellum. This should look familiar. The hyaline cartilage coming over the top. Okay. Now as we move distally. You see some structures there. You see a beating structure. This this bundle of this bundle of vasculature here. There's a term for it. It's called the leash of Henry. This is as it's starting to enter. This is a common point of entrapment. As it's approach as it's approaching the supinator, this is one this is one point of entrapment that that one should consider in cases of supinator syndrome. Okay, so as we're as we're moving down, the split starts to occur. This is the split. And I'm gonna backtrack in a sec, but I just want to point something out. Here's the radius. This is your supinator. Okay. This is the this little thing right where the right where the arrow is at. That's the posterior interosseous nerve. The anterior cutaneous is still up here. So you have the deep head of the supinator, and then the superficial head of the supinator. The posterior interosseous nerve splits the two heads of the supinator at the arcade of Roche. So there you have the two structures that are common sites of entrapment: the Leisha Henry, the arcade of Roche, and they're right kind of. I believe Arcade approach uh, is a little bit distal to the Alicia Henry. Um, Ryan, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Okay, so we're back. Now we're going to track, track, track. And can do this in real time. <laughs> we'll see. There's your deep, that's your posterior interosseous nerve splitting. Okay, so let me come back. Let me come back. Let me come back. Okay, here. Split. Now it's going to come splitting between the supinators. And that's where we are. Okay, so now you see where I'm at on the forearm. This was a hard one to narrate live. Um, the ultrasound is very much a hands-on skill. So um, definitely love to get a chance to work with more of you. Um, and and we'll, we'll share more about how to get a hold of us if you want to inquire what that, what that means. Um, well, also, while we're online, I, I, sent a poll, I sent a poll out for everybody. If you're interested in an elbow scanning and injection technique online course, I'm doing this right here. This is, I have not asked permission from Colin, but I heard sometimes it's uh, better to ask for forgiveness than, than permission. Uh, I'm going to give you a 25% discount on our elbow scanning course if you want to get that, guys. So I'll, I'll, I'll drop a 25% off of the, uh, the elbow scanning course if you want to do that online. Okay, so... Let's go to let's go to the long axis radial nerve. And this one's a little bit easier to pick up the split in long axis than short. There's a couple of different ways to look at this. So if you see me waffling between positions, I'm deciding which one I want to show you first. Let me let me start with this position. Okay, because I, I like to use this window. So I'm using I'm kind of using the brachioradialis as my viewing window to watch where that radial nerve splits off. Okay. And as you want to track the posterior interosseous nerve distally, this is the best, the, the, it's, it's going to track more like this. Okay. It's going to track more um, on the, on the dorsum of the forearm. So the annular, annular recess is kind of my lighthouse here. Bone is home for me here. And, and you see what I picked up first thing was this, see this Y right in the middle.
It's this bifurcation here. This is your posterior interosseous nerve, superficial nerve, splitting the deep head of the supinator, superficial head of the supinator. So one view is no view in, in stenography or any radio or, or anything in radiology, really. So, which is why we use these multiple views. So this is a little bit easier one to acquire. Um, when you're first learning the tracking the radial nerve and short axis, watching the split, definitely takes a lot of brain energy, um, but, but it can be done with the right reps and guidance. But the long axis generally is a little bit easier to pick up in the early stage for people.